There's a certain kind of skin disease that the Torah discusses, which is often confused with leprosy, but it's not leprosy. It was a spiritual disease that a person who had contaminated himself with wrongful speech, let's put it just very generically, uh, would break out with this kind of skin lesion, and that would require of them to be quarantined. And once they're purified, once the symptoms disappear, they would come to the Kohen, the Kohen, the priest, the descendants of Aaron, and they would then declare them to be ritually clean, and they would go through a whole purification rite. So here's how the Torah describes this process. This will be the Torah, the law of the Mitzorah. The person who is afflicted with this disease is called a Mitzorah. So again, this will be the law of the Mitzorah on the day of his purification. He should be brought to the Kohen, to the priest. Then it says, the Kohen shall go forth to the outside of the camp. That's where the Kohen shall look and behold the Tzaras, or Tzara'at, which is the skin disease itself, had been healed from the Mitzorah, had been healed from the person afflicted with that disease. There are many questions in this very small quote, but I'm just going to focus on two. Question number one, there seems to be an internal contradiction here. First it says he should be brought to the Kohen. You take the person who has this affliction and you bring him to the Kohen. Then it says... The Kohen shall go forth to the outside of the camp. And that's where the Kohen looks and sees that he is already healed. That's question number one. It seems to be an internal contradiction. Does the Kohen come to the Mitzorah or does the Mitzorah go to the Kohen? It seems that both are mentioned here. And then the second question is, there seems to be a word that is unnecessarily added here. The Tzarat had been healed from the Mitzorah. Well, it's obvious that it's been healed from the person who has the ailment. It should have just said that Tzarat had he been healed. We're talking about a Mitzorah. So without going into all the different levels of explanation, the simple level, the deeper level, there's a very important moral lesson that applies to any person who has a moral lapse, who has a spiritual void, who is afflicted with some kind of a deficiency in his or her moral life. And they have to be brought to the Kohen. The Kohen is the symbol of the tzaddik, the righteous person, the chacham, the wise person, the spiritual mentor. Every person has to have a spiritual mentor to whom we go when we are afflicted, especially if the affliction is one of a moral and spiritual character. So there are two stages in doing this. The stage number one is that we have to take the initiative to go to the sage. We have to take the initiative to go to the holy person, to go to the Rebbe, to the mentor. We have to realize that we cannot do it on our own. Yes, we make every effort. Yes, we do everything in our power to change, to rectify the wrongs, to heal ourselves, but ultimately, Help has to come from an outside source. And in that sense, every one of us could be that outside source. It doesn't only have to be this great holy person, but that's the ultimate paradigm. So the first thing in the process of healing is we have to recognize that we have an ailment, that we are afflicted, and that we have a moral lapse, and that we go to the righteous person, to the outside person for guidance, how to be healed. Then the righteous person, the mentor, the Rebbe, the Tzaddik, the Chacham, the wise one, whatever title we want to give the outside person, he has to think, I'm not doing the healing. It's, as the Torah says over here, the Tzarat had been healed from the Mitzorah. The Mitzorah himself has an inner spark that has been ignited by virtue of coming to the chacham, coming to the wise person, coming to the tzaddik, coming to the leader, that ignited the spark within the mitzorah, and the mitzorah is the one who is creating the healing. There's a very powerful message over here that applies specifically 
and especially to the Mashiach. The Mashiach is often referred to in the Talmud as a mitzorah, a person who's afflicted with this kind of skin disease, which is, of course is only a metaphor. That the Mashiach, the Mashiach comes at a time when there's a lot of affliction going on, and we have to come and bring our problem to Mashiach. So we are the ones who proclaim Mashiach. Mashiach is a leader, and there's an expression that there is no such thing as a king, a leader, without a nation. It's the nation that has the spiritual power in giving the leader the power to lead. So there's reciprocity over here. We, in turn, come to the leader and empower him to help us, and he empowers us to help ourselves. Mashiach comes through us, and he ignites the spark in us.